Hello, and thank you for tuning in to TV 35 WDIG Community Calendar. I'm your host, Carolyn Walker, and it is so good to be here with you today to update you on some of the amazing things that are going on with the, within our community. It's kind of slow at this pace due to COVID, but we're still out and about practicing safety mechanisms to our uh, habits to be safe during this pandemic. But nonetheless, we got to keep moving and, you know, getting our jobs done as best we can and doing this um, social distancing, wearing the mask, washing your hands. And I'm telling you, it's, it's just a part of our nature now. It's just what we do. And uh, if you're not doing it, I would uh, urgently advise you to do it because it could possibly save your life. And, um, someone else's. So make sure you're following the rules by the uh, CDD and your local health department to wear the mask and, and constantly wash your hands and keep your little care package in your car like I do. I have a little plastic Ziploc bag and I have, um, you know, hand, the, the little white things in there. And then I have the hand sanitizer and then I have several masks. And uh, so if I'm ever off and uh, running out of the house and forget to put one on, got it right there in my car. So, and it's some in my purse as well. So I make sure I'm stocked up. So be safe out there, but we're gonna try to carry on and keep you updated on the um, events, local events here in Lawrence County as best we can under the circumstances. And uh, you can catch it all right here at TV 35 WDIG. And we're working hard to make sure you stay updated and informed on what's going on right here locally in Lawrence County. I'm gonna start out talking about the Dublin City Council that has passed an emergency ordinance that will prohibit the operation of fairs, amusement parks, circuses, and other temporary amusement rides. So if you were sitting back waiting on this fall to go out to the fair or take the children to the amusement parks, I'm so sorry to inform you that that probably, in, as they're saying, is not gonna happen because um, they had an emergency meeting, ordinance meeting, and it was to prevent the city from allowing any fairs, circuses, carnivals, or any gatherings like that during this period of COVID-19. And that was stated by the Dublin city manager, Lance Jones. So the ordinance, the ordinance became effective at 10 p.m. Tuesday, July 28th and will remain in effect until 11.59 p.m. on Friday, September 11. And the mayor and the county council uh, can extend or renew the emergency ordinance as provided by law. So they can, you know, change it according to law as, you know, time permits with this pandemic. So we'll see and uh, just hope that, you know, soon, after this year, things will fall back in line. And if not, we just got to be strong and endure. And I'm going to uh, ask you to go out to Hometown Supply. They now have all sizes uh, window units in stock. Go out to Hometown Supply and shop. They have window units, all sizes in stock, not to mention all the other amazing things that they have in there to help you get through this hot, hot uh, summer weather we're having and, and things that can help you along the way with the pandemic virus as well. So go to Hometown Supply and do some shopping. I'll return shortly after this commercial. Hi, I'm Helen Powell. I've been serving the Middle Georgia area since 1985. If you would love an exciting career, please call me. Careers in Cosmetology. 129 North Franklin Street, 272-1967. Hi, I'm Ashley. I'm an upcoming graduate from Careers of Cosmetology. It's been a wonderful experience, and I encourage you to contact Ms. Helen Powell for more opportunities. 
Hello, I'm Christy at Careers of Cosmetology. I've recently enrolled here and I'm excited about the opportunities that lie ahead. Hey, my name is Daphne Jackson. I'm excited to be enrolled in Careers in Cosmetology. If you would like this opportunity, contact Careers in Cosmetology. Hi, my name is Caitlin. I've been enrolled in Careers in Cosmetology for about four months now. I'm really enjoying it and I think if this is the career for you, you should definitely come see Miss Helen Powell. Careers in Cosmetology, 129 North Franklin Street, our number is 272-1967. Give me a call. And we have the runoff elections that uh, takes place August 11th. And the advance uh, voting is until August 7th. So you have up to August 7th, 7th to do your advance voting. But the election runoff for Lawrence County probate judge is August 11th. Got a few days to go and uh, vote, and hopefully you've already registered. So, pray hope that's not even an issue because you know we got the big election, presidential election coming up in November. So these months are rolling by really fast, and if you've got things to do that you haven't done or you got pending or like me a lot of times for procrastinating about, we don't have time. We'll soon be. Uh, talking about Thanksgiving events and things going on. Then, um, you know, then there's Christmas. And next thing you know, we'll be in a whole nother year. And uh, so just get your list and, and look over it as the months come in and out because you don't have very long. These months are rolling in and out to take care of projects that you might have pending and uh, get them taken care of. Carl Vinson had a great uh, turnout for food giveaway they did last week and um, the vets came out and if they had their uh, veterans ID they were eligible to receive a box of food containing fresh fruits and vegetables, canned goods, eggs, milk, and packaging meat. And uh, these, these food giveaways are all over the county in uh, the different middle Georgia counties here and uh, other areas I understand as well. And that is so wonderful, you know, because with people not able to go to work full time, working from their homes and stuff, et cetera, that helps them out with food and preparing meals for their family and the children have been home. And I know they're just eating, eating, eating because a lot of times we eat out of boredom, you know, and uh, this food that the, the food giveaways help replenish uh, and make the uh, month go by better without wondering, you know, if you got enough from month to month. So go out when you see these food drives, wherever they are, and get that food because they want to give it away. Otherwise, it'll spoil some of the meats and the milk, the dairy products and stuff that they give away. They need to get rid of it and would be no better uh, thing to do than give it to families and, and have you uh, have it and, and drink and eat and enjoy, you know, enjoy the fruits and vegetables that are being given away. Again, it's free, costs you nothing, so get out and enjoy it. And we have a former West Lawrence standout, standout Marcus Knight, and uh, he was seventh in pro basketball season. The seventh basketball season might have been his finest. And Knight is 30 years old, and he was named MVP of Bud Dislinga final phase after engaging 18, averaging 18.7.9 rebounds and three to three assists to lead R rising Ludwigsburg to the championship series, series this last month for the first time in the history of the club. I'm blotching up these names. They're foreign. They're from Ger these are Germany. Uh, uh, cities and little towns and they are just long and drawn out so I know I'm watching them up but I hope you understand that he played uh, pro basketball over in Germany and he's doing a great job and the season however was interrupted by the coronavirus pandemic before resuming for Knight's big finish and Knight uh, brings home a wonderful 
thing for the children every year. However, being home now, COVID-19 concerns have night to call off his annual free annual basketball camp for kids. So once again, COVID is interrupting a wonderful thing, but instead he is dishing out free meals to kids with a one hoop, one dream basketball camp drive and through meal giveaways at West Lawrence High School that continues Friday from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. and on through Saturday from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Knight says he will try to speak to the kids as they come through. So that's, a, I think, a kind of drive-through things that the kids can um, go and, and instead of the camp you know, due to coronavirus that he's giving away food to the kids and encouraging them, you know, throughout this hard time that has prevented them to be who they are, going out playing freely and to the um, amusement parks with swimming and all of these other wonderful things they love to do. And uh, so you had, you had to have 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 had to be creative with the children during this stressful time because we adults we get it way more than they do they just don't get it sometime and they develop uh anxiety uh become very frustrated when they can't um, mingle with their friends at this time and you know they become combative sometimes with parents and uh you know but we have to be creative that's when you have to be creative and and find other ways fun ways to occupy the children and teaching them the value of the safe distancing and um wearing the mask and washing and sanitizing their hands and let them watch some of the um updates on the news about what's going on and how many people are dying due to this virus, et cetera. And maybe that will sell their minds that, oh, this thing is serious. Because a lot of people even now, believe it or not, they don't believe that this is serious, that it's real. They're calling it a hoax. And, you know, and they're steady seeing people dying every day. And I mean, hundreds and thousands of people. And unfortunately, they're still saying it's a hoax. But, you know, as, as my mom used to say, life is a teacher. But it is so unfortunate that you want to learn the hard way with something like this that is going about worldwide. It's not just geared to any particular race, any particular countries or anything. This is worldwide. So make sure you spend time teaching and talking to your children, comforting them through this, that God willing, it'll pass and um, we can resume somewhat the uh, normalcy of life that we once knew, but nobody knows. So we have to, you know, be, um, you know, create things to do. And even with us adults, we have to find things to do and occupy our minds, keep busy and focused and prayed up. <laughs> so. It's a lot going on and it is very overwhelming. It is overwhelming and it is depressing. So if you need to talk to a medical person, you know, about what, what you're feeling and experiencing during this time, make an appointment and do that as well with your children. So I'm gonna take another brief commercial break and I'll return shortly. If you're in the market for affordable transportation, come into Dublin Auto Sales. Getting to work, school, or around town every day requires dependable transportation. And that's what you'll find at Dublin Auto Sales. We offer in-house financing, too, so credit is never an issue. See Wayne Kemp or any of his friendly staff, Billy Topping, Alan Fields, and TJ DeRoche. Look for Dublin Auto Sales at 606 East Jackson Street and 511 North Jefferson, where you'll find a great deal. Dublin Auto Sales, affordable transportation you can count on. I'm Glenn Register with Hometown Supply, and we want to remind you that through these tough times that we are here for you. We stand ready to assist you with whatever you may need, from appliances to hardware, from lawn and garden supplies to tires and batteries, we are here for you. Come in to Hometown Supply and let us help you today, or call us at 272-0345. We can help you select whatever meets your needs, and we will deliver it right to your home or office. 
We offer in-house financing to fit your budget. This is our community, you are our neighbors, and we're in this together. Just remember, if you can't do business at Hometown Supply, you just can't do business. And of course, uh, even though we had to make some changes and, and revamp some things, our market on Madison is open every Saturday morning from 7.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. So thank goodness that was not, you know, completely shut down. However, they had to, you know, revise some things and they're only allowing 20 people in per, you know, at a time. So, but you still can get out there and get these amazing vegetables and fruits and other um, wonderful things that the, the vendors have out there at the market and they work really hard. So make sure you go out and patronize these uh, vendors and um, all the wonderful homemade, homegrown items that they're selling out there. They have honey, pound cakes, barbecue sauce, salsa, uh, tomatoes, corn, watermelons. Uh, they have art out there. They have um, homemade butters, zucchini, eggs, watermelons, candy, butter beans, strawberries, sweet corn, I said corn, uh, all kind of wonderful baked goods, um, just a plethora of things that have pork rinds, uh, peanut brittle, turnips, collards, broccoli, peppers, cucumbers, cinnamon rolls. Uh, they even have t-shirts and quilts and they have things for you little, um, Doggies, they have doggy treats out there, homemade doggy treats. So you would love that for your dog to make sure he's eating healthy just like we have. Did you know you have to uh, make sure your dog is on a pretty good healthy diet just like humans. They have the tendency to become obese and they also have health issues. So make sure you take great care of your little furry friends and um, give them healthy treats and stuff. And they have sugar, coffee scrub, rubs, lip balm, um, all kind of wax, blackberries. Oh, oh my goodness. So, you know, I could just go on and on reading all the wonderful things they have out there, the market on Madison. But you need to go for yourself and find out what I'm talking about. What's all the hoopla about market on Madison? Get up every um, Saturday morning, get your coffee and stuff ready, and be there at 7.30 a.m to 12.30 p.m. and they're all open all the way through October. So we're still uh, able to go out and patronize our wonderful market on Madison and uh, the uh, wonderful things that they carry. Uh, Lawrence County, you know, I mentioned last week that they it is official now that you have to have on a mask to enter the Lawrence County Courthouse. Uh, you know, it's just, for our safety um, and health. And when you come in, the, the deputies are going to screen you. And just to find out if you have a temperature in excess of 100.4, and they'll find out, uh, have you been in contact with anyone with the virus or um, been active or have you been feeling any kind of way? And if you answer yes to any of the questions that they ask you, Unfortunately, you will not be allowed to come into the courthouse. So make sure that you answer your questions carefully and correctly for your safety. And, um, you know, it's just a lot of little things going on here. The Board of Commissioners and the health departments and all, they're just on top of everything, including, you know, the uh, concerns about kids going back to school. They have uh, various options now. They can go virtually or, you know, in persons, or I think they're even breaking it up. You do half in the morning, maybe half in the evening. I know a lot of uh, cities up north and, and all, they're doing it that way. And it's just a great concern for parents at this particular time. And the leaders in, in uh, health departments abroad are very concerned about children, you know, going and being exposed to each other. And, you know, children are not as attentive as adults. Again, um, you cannot expect a kindergartner or a preschooler to understand 
why they got to have this mask on all day over their faces and they're so playful and innocent they might switch masks i like the cost the um you know costume on your mask better than mine let me use yours let me hold yours that's just the mentality of children so we have the that they these people are having to have all these things in concern and uh, even with the mask on to cough or sneeze, the child might have the tendency to take it off to do that, just to cough or sneeze. They don't know, and, and that's why we have to teach them to keep the mask on when you cough or sneeze. And if you do take it off, cough into your elbow, you know, armpit to prevent the germs. So we really gotta stay on board teaching children about germs more so than ever. And if you've been steady on it, they might have it by now, but they're not focused enough to be consistent with it. And I know I go on and on about this, and you already hear a lot of it on the news and everywhere you go, but you just can't say it enough. You just cannot say it enough, the importance of following, you know, wearing the mask and sanitizing, because apparently it does work. And, uh, Again, you do not have to wear the mask in your car when you're driving. You can breathe. You use that time for breathing and all because, um, and in your house when you're quarantining with your family, you don't have to wear it then unless somebody in the house is sick or, you know, having to be quarantined from the family. So just be careful and um, because honestly, we uh, talk about how we're not, created to wear and prevent free breathing, et cetera. The air and the sun, we need that for nourishment and growth. And, uh, but you know, you have to take time out from these masks. Uh, when you're by yourself, go somewhere and just take it off and breathe for a minute. And uh, if you're having irritations with them, the strings behind your ears, take it off and adjust it. You don't have to have it pinching your ears, pulling them down, and all that kind of stuff. They are adjustable. The strings are adjustable. Even if you have to cut it and retie it to make it a little loose so that it won't be so tight on your ears, do whatever you got to do for your comfortability. But by all means, when you're out in public, wear your mask, okay? So we're we always going to um, be concerned about sexual assault and, and uh, traffic trafficked trafficking i have trouble with that word <laughs> but um uh, we have stepping stones who have a child advocate center now and uh is for ch people that have been sexually assaulted i'll use that terminology and it has a, a center now so if you have any concerns or have been afflicted with this awful, you know, thing, go by Stepping Stones. They have counselors on site and they can talk to you and give you literature and all of that to support you during this um, situation that you may have experienced. And um, Wings was going to do one. They um, didn't have enough room. But if you need to talk to somebody about abuse, family abuse, sexual assault, and all that kind of stuff. We have the stepping stone now, and of course you can always go out to Wings. They have different people coming in and, and talking and encouraging and motivating uh, people that have been afflicted with these situations. So we hope that you will utilize them. And uh, the Heart of Georgia Community Action Center is still, I believe it's still time for you to call and make an appointment to get assistance with uh, your cooling and um, air conditioning and electric bills during this time. And um, they're helping out and it's a great help to households. And there are certain criteria you must meet. So if you wanna go by and give it a shot, a Lawrence County number to call is 478-275. 0478. I don't think they want you walking in. You have to have an appointment. So call before you go. And again, the number is 478 275 And uh, they will give you a time and a date and give you all the information on the 
papers, et cetera, that you might have to bring with you. So we're gonna pause again for a brief commercial break. I'll be right back. Hurry home, boys, we gotta go. <laughs> Oh, we're racing. Let's see what you got, boys. Not today, boys. Hey, I got your text. What's the emergency? What text? Where is my phone? <laughs> River wanting to play. And I'm back with TV 35 WDIG Community Calendar. I'm your host Carolyn Walker and we're just giving up some updates and information that you might not know about concerning things right here in our county. And um, be careful out there and I, I talk about this a lot too, you know, about the scams. They never stop. Even at the worst of times, scams are people are playing games and trickery, trying to um, gain people trust to only cause them headaches later in life. So make sure you're aware of the pandemic scams. They're calling, trying to get your information, your personal information, um, you know, all kind of stuff. It, it's just awful. It's the most awfulest thing that could happen, especially in a time of crises and I don't get it. It's just some heartless people in the world and that's what they do. So we just have to be uh, on our, uh, as people say, P's and Q's and uh, pay attention. If you get these calls, just hang up. I don't even entertain it once I realize if, if I answer because a lot of times I see numbers, I don't even answer it because I know um, it's, it's just somebody wanting to talk or try to encourage you. And it ain't even all about scams. They're just these uh, um, calls that you get and they're trying to encourage you to um, get involved with whatever it is they're trying to sell you and they get your information. And it just goes on and on and on. Um, I remember a time I you know, was interested in a call about a product they were selling and I gave them my information. The product came and I made, I made sure and made clear that I only wanted that one time sample to see if I liked it. But let me tell you, they kept on and on charging my phone, my uh, charge card. I had to go to the bank and, and you know handle that business for that payment to stop coming out and uh, I had to contact the company. It was a headache, and I hate I did that, so that was a lesson learned. I don't do that anymore. So don't do that either, because be careful with that. And make sure you keep your elderly informed about all these little trickery games people are playing out here. And I'm just, oh, the movie house is open. The movie house, the Martin movie house, is open again, and they are playing different movies uh, per week, so you can get out now, and uh, you know, they are also practicing social distancing and wearing your mask, and, but you can get out a little bit and get you some popcorn and go enjoy your movie at the Martin movie house downtown, and that's right at Theater Dublin, same thing, so get out, and again, I'm in, uh, Get out and go to Hometown Supply and get you a window unit air conditioned. They're all sizes and they're in stock and he's ready, uh, they're ready to help you pick the size that's best for your home and um, our business. So yes, go support Hometown Supply and get your air conditioned unit and all the other uh, essential things that you need during this pandemic. So my time is up here and I'm bidding and wishing everyone a wonderful and safe week. And you know, just follow the rules and, and just be patient with, this is a time that we have really had to understand and learn patience because this, this pandemic has brought a lot, about a lot of changes. So just be patient and encourage one, one another and support one another. We're all in this together, no one is exempt. 
Have a great week, and I'll see you next time on Community Calendar. I'm your host, Carolyn Walker.